Hey, good evening, everyone. I'm Tony Embry, and I'm coming to you from my Riverview Creative Studio in New Bern, North Carolina, for my Saturday night live stamping with Tony. Thank you for joining me, and you can reach me on my uh, RiverviewCreativeStudio.com website. You can place an order. You can um, have access to my blog. I have uh, quite a few blog entries and uh, I'm doing about three a week. So if you haven't had a chance to check those out, there might be some interesting uh, projects for you. I just, uh, we just went live with the, um, the gentleman uh, craft, crafters uh, design team, uh, monthly blog post. It was my very first one as being part of the team. And uh, there are nine guys at we're from um, all around the world, and uh, so it's really, really interesting. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to see this one, uh, this is my card for that blog hop that we did. It was went live on Friday, so yesterday. So this one is, uh, the uh, images are stamped on uh, with Versamark and then gold, uh, Gold, uh, pay, a uh, gold, <laughs> I can't even think about it. But anyway, let me get my stamp set and I'll show you which stamp set it is because I wasn't planning to talk about it. Uh, but anyway, it is the You Are My Hero. So this is gold embossing. Um, so you put it on, put on the, uh, stamp the image with, uh, with the, uh, VersaBark ink and then, um, you put on the gold powder and then you heat set it. And so uh, it's really, really pretty. But if you watch the video um, tutorial that you could see all that happen. So anyway, um, so that's that. I'll just wanted to mention that since we were there, but it's called Loyal Leaves and uh, comes out really nice. I really like it. I'll set that one over here. But tonight we're gonna do something totally different than that. So I'll set this aside. Um, I've been playing around with this that I love. I love this set, it's called uh, Today's Tiles. Hi, Vicki. It's called Today's Tiles. And um, I really, really love this. One of the first um, sets that I bought. Um, hey, Wendy. And um, one of the first sets that I bought. And uh, I, I really like it. Uh, I just wasn't sure um, how I wanted to use it uh, to actually bring it forth for you guys so you could uh, to do a demo for it. So I've been playing around with it. And uh, I was using... Uh, my Stamparatus today. And um, but today, actually, I've been in a uh, summer retreat, online summer retreat um, all day since 10 o'clock this morning. It's still going, but I had already, um, but I, but we have our seven o'clock meeting. So I, uh, it's going to go till about nine. So I'll pick it up after everything's recorded, but uh, <clears throat> really, really, really fun. Uh, lots of new things uh, that I'm uh, you know, learning. It's always nice. There's uh, five different demonstrators and uh, they're all, you know, really big in Stampin' Up! So really successful at Stampin' Up! So uh, anyway, but uh, so I so I was doing that all day. So I've been in the studio all day. And uh, so that, which is fun. And I've been looking forward to it. But anyway, so today's style is the uh, polymer stamp set. And then of course we have the field tied tile dies, which you could see here. Uh, there's sentiment and then these uh, you could cut out so anyway but we're gonna use the stamparatus but I will show you we're gonna make two cards um, this is one of the cards that um, that I designed today um, uh, you know purple is my favorite color I think it's yours too Wendy I think I've ever said you tell me your favorite color was purple but anyway so I designed this one and we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to do this using the stamparatus because it's a two-step stamp the lighter color goes on and then the darker color and so it's lining up the stamp and so um the stamp apparatus is great for that because if it the stamp doesn't you know if it's too light or whatever you can just stamp it again because it it just goes back in the same place and um so anyway so uh this is another one of the pieces uh so at this i just love this it's really pretty and on the inside i didn't stamp anything you know i don't do that very often but i just said just wanted to say hello there but i i love that card is that pretty we're gonna do it in a different color but uh but I, you know because i don't like to do things in the same color 
And then this is the second card, which is Mo different, but uh, it has a little bling here. So you see the sapphires, the blue sapphire bling, if you can pick the light up there. And that's this piece that is uh, here. You see that piece right there? And so what I did was, <clears throat> it's two shades of blue. And this is the C, I don't wanna get this right. So Misty Moonlight's a darker color. I did uh, the other color is Seaside Spray, the lighter color. I love both of those. Those are um, in colors. And then um, this one, I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is, um, I took the longer piece and just shortened it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in case you don't know how to do that, uh, how to do that. So anyway, so then these are some I stamped. Um, and for this, I, I wanted some color distinction behind it. So I just cut out a square, one and a half inch square of white, but you could use, um, you know, some sparkly paper, you could use um, gold, you could do anything in, in there that, just to make that look different and pop, uh, to make it stand out a little more. And so that's, I just put white in there and then I just added the jewels, which, you know, jewels always make it pop. So, uh, so we're gonna do, uh, which one am I gonna do first? Let's see, we'll do this one first. And let's see, we're gonna do it in purple. Put all my stuff in a um, little bag so that we could uh, see it. And uh, this, um, this is, well, this ribbon is a little bit harder. It's pear pizzazz, but because when I use, you do the doubles, usually um, I, I, re I did this like three times, three, three different times because I wanted it to, get it tight enough so that it didn't come undone. But anyway, so I went ahead and tied that in the interest of time. Uh, so I went ahead and stamped this little sentiment uh, in the interest of time. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And uh, so here's the piece of greed and it goes in here. So I will show you how to make it shorter in the next one, but this is that. And then uh, here is the paper so you could see how it's done. So I'll show you how it's stamped, how we do the stamping, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this card together um, and then we'll do that. But <clears throat> As you know, I can't, I can't put the, uh, I can't attach this until I get the ribbit on. So we'll just put this on first, and I'm going to use dimensionals for that one. So make sure I've got it the right way. Yep. Hope you guys have had a good Saturday. We were supposed to get all this rain, but uh, I hasn't, haven't had any. I thought we were getting a storm. And yesterday they had all this, <clears throat> excuse me, they had all these uh, warnings about heavy raid and all this stuff was supposed to rain all day today. And then I looked this morning and uh, it was, it was gone. So I was like, okay. I was just out there um, taking the dogs out to potty and, uh, and it seemed a little bit like my, we might get a little bit of thunderstorm or something, but I don't know. Anyway, so I just kind of added this for interest. I kind of like the, I like the interest of it, but anyway, so the ribbon, I tied it. And I wanted to go across here, I think, right across, right across here, I think. Okay, so what I do, I don't know how you guys do it, but this is how I do it. I find my stamp and seal. Oh, this is stamp and seal plus. So, uh, I don't think I really need, that's the strong stuff, and I don't think I really need the strong stuff, so we'll use the weak stuff. This is more like the regular Chanel we have. Hopefully I won't run out. Okay, so I just put a little bit on the end, and then um, beside where I want to put it. Okay, so I kind of want it to be right here. Here, I think I want it to be right there. So I'm going to put it in the middle and I'm going to wrap this around like so. Because I want the ribbon to be where I, I want the bow to be where I want it. Then I can adjust this one. Okay. I just love this ribbon. It's just so pretty. But uh, it's really shiny. And so the problem, the problem I have with it is, uh, is that it's really shiny. And so it's, it's, 
is harder to get it to be together. Okay. <laughs> we were laughing uh, with the uh, people I was watching, the ladies I was watching. And, you know, when we were, they were kept talking about, you know, how things, how things happen when you're on video. And, uh, you know, you can't edit it out. I never edit mine anyway, but uh, anyway, you can't edit it out. And so you do funny things, you know, things that you normally do, but you just, you know, you're not, you don't have an audience. So, uh, but there were like 2,000, 2,000 people uh, signed in to this Facebook uh, live. It was, it was quite amazing. So uh, anyway, so that's that. And then uh, I will put some more of this. Which I finally, you know, if you guys remember, I was having a really heck of a time learning how to use this stuff. But I have, I think I've successfully learned how to use it now. Okay, so there's that. See, I did all the hard stuff. But I've got some other things I want to show you. So I did a want to Terry on my putting the card together. You guys are such a quick study anyway. You don't really need me to do all this for you. You know how it's supposed to go. But anyway, so that is that. Now I just have to put the little sentiment on. So I'm gonna put that on. That'll be good. As long as I don't put it all upside down, which I have been known to do. Okay, so this one, we're gonna go right here. I want that part to show, and I kind of want it to be centered. Okay, there we go. Cool. What do you think? Like that? It's such a fun card. Anyway, it's a way to use the. It's a way to use this. So I'm gonna set this one, these two aside, and I'm going to show you a couple things. So for the next card, <clears throat> the next card we have to. We're going to use smaller pieces and for those of you who have it uh there's got they have to be two inches for the card that we're going to make and this card this card here we have uh, it's the same piece but i just make them two inches and uh because i wanted them to be i didn't want them to be cut off i wanted them to be two inches so i'm going to tell you how to do it or i'm going to tell you how i do it um i don't know that there's just one way to do it but so this is Four inches, I think. Yeah, it's four inches. So if I want to make it two inches, so I get my little pencil out because I don't know if you guys can see down here. Do you see that here? Can't tell because I've got, I don't want to touch my camera. But anyway, so here, I'm just going to mark it. If you can't see, I've just marked it at two inches. Okay, putting a little pencil mark right there at two inches, right? Okay, so. <clears throat> So I've already got all this other part done. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to put this back here. And you can feel it'll go into the little grooves. And you can feel it go into the little grooves, kinda, right into it. So you don't like cut it out twice. Okay, so, let's see if I can get it in there right, so I don't mess it up, okay. And then I need to get some washi tape. I should have done this ahead of time, but you know, it's a camera. So what I want to do is, I want to give this a solid end over here, okay? So I have to plug this one in like this, and then I'm gonna do it down here too, just because I want to make sure. And I haven't cut these out yet, so. Well, yeah, I did cut them out, but I want, I just did this because I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing, how to do it. So I have to do this twice because even though this is four inches, I need it to be two inches exactly. And uh, so I'd have to, I could do it. I just would have to make it shorter than two inches, just slightly shorter than inches in order to get them out. But I'm going to bring over the uh, embossing. I do it right here because I did it. I wanted you to see how to do it, okay? So, here's this one. Put it across here like this. Uh, <clears throat> so, this just saves you a little bit of time. 
If it just bakes a little neater, you would, you know, you wouldn't have it. Sorry about that. Hopefully my coffee will spill. Okay, so let's see where's my pick your tool. Take your pick tool. See, there's my pencil marker to erase that, but anyway, so it gives you, it gives you a nice finished edge. I know it is really pretty as a Vicky. I love that color combination. Anyway, so this one would be shorter. You could still use it, but it would, it would, oh, it would be shorter. I, I tried doing it, trust me, and uh, I couldn't, I, it would, it would have bothered me as one would have been a little bit shorter than the other and. I don't like to do things that way, so. Okay, so I have I did that. That was my one thing for you. And then, if you haven't played with a Stamparatus before, a Stamparatus is a, a it's really a, a lifesaver if you make a lot of the same card. And, uh, you know, if, or, or if what you're using has uh, a lot of detail. And sometimes when you stamp like a larger stamp, uh, sometimes the, uh, the detail doesn't, doesn't come out as right the first time. It's, you know, maybe it's missing a couple things. Well, it's really hard to, to get it back in there. So anyway, the stamp apparatus, <clears throat> there's plate, these plates, and these plates will move. So you can move them. You can take about a move them. But uh, so this one is the top one. I don't know if you could. I don't know if you could see it. Anyway, this is the top one that has the little details that uh, puts the like in this card. This is the green part. Okay, so you kind of want to line it up. So what this does for you is you put your paper in, and so I wanted. I knew that I knew where I wanted my paper to be because I knew I wanted for this particular design. I wanted my design to be offset because I wanted this over here, so I wanted it to come over here. So I figured out where I wanted it. So uh, the way you do that, and I'll show you, but I already know where I want this. I want to show it to you while I'm doing it. And then I will deconstruct it and show you how I, how I got it to be this way. And I did this a while ago, so I'm hoping, earlier today, so I'm hoping it's going to, uh, <coughs> it's gonna work. Let me see. Get by a pair of pizzazz. And I'll get my eyelid. Yeah, so I used Highland Heather. I like these two together. They're both bright. Uh, so I like them together. Okay. So the stamp apparatus is perfect for what we need to do. All right, so you can see this over here. I've got to move it over a little bit so you can see it more. Okay, so it's here. So you want to ink up. I'm gonna do it in green this time. So we'll ink up this one here. And you can see it, you can see when you have ink on it, right? But sometimes, because this is a kind of a, a bigger stamp. So when you when you apply this, sorry, I missed out. When you, oh, I didn't mean to do that, but <clears throat> I did it earlier too. Okay, so it slammed itself down, but it's okay. So then when you pick it up, you just want to be a little more careful. But see, the <clears throat> all the areas got color. So if you were going to make a bunch of these cards, like I made four or five of them, uh, then you could, you know, then you can just, if it if you think it moved at all, then you could just, um, you know, you've got your paper pencil marks there. Okay, so then for this one back here, I don't know if you could see this one. I'm going to move this up a little bit, so just in case... I'm gonna make sure you can see this one. Okay, so this one I'm gonna do the purple. So if you're doing a lot of the same, uh, a lot of the same cards, and you can, what, I'll show you something else that's really cool, but you can put stamps on the backs, on the front, so if you have four steps or whatever, you can, these plates move, right? They move, so you can take them out and you can put stamps over here, so like if you're doing that, so it's, it's really, there's so much you can do with it. Okay, so then this part, hopefully it's still lined up. So you wanna just kind of rub it to make sure 
Let's see how it is. Yep, pretty lined up. It moved a little bit, Avi, but you get you get the you get the gist of it, right? Okay, so let me clean this off, and then I'll show you. So I just used my chamois to clean it off, uh, just because it's easier to do that than to than anything else. Okay, so I wipe this off a little bit. There's water on it. Okay, so I'm gonna move this one. Or it's gonna be just a sample, so we're gonna play with it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put this back where we wanted it, right? Okay, so you put the little magnets, because this is there's magnetic under here, okay? So these little magnets come with it. And uh, so you wanna just put those on there. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off. Take this off of here. Okay, so you want it, you're, you're, you're just trying to decide what you want to do. So you're like, okay, well, I would have put this where I want it in the card. Okay, so I want it, you know, if you want it like here on the card, then um, you want to put it like that. Okay, and so uh, you always want to do a sample first, and you can just use regular, like, uh, you know, paper from your copier. You don't have to use... Uh, cardstock you could just use uh, for this purpose I'm just gonna do this but anyway so the first thing you do is you get your first plate like this okay so put your first plate this paper's a little smaller so it's pulling it up okay so now I gotta get this back to where it was it's not that hard it's just I'm I'm trying to show you something that's a little awkward for me it's two steps often you don't have half the plague okay so i'm gonna put some ink on here just because i want to show you how we're gonna do the second part okay so if you're doing your test paper so you would you would put this down first okay and then then lift this up and then you take this off okay so you want to see like okay so this one's round right so you want this round one to be here, this one to be here. Okay, so you'll see there's like a little, there's like these little feet, right? There's these two feet right here. So those, they're like two little things. Okay, so you know they have to go like right down here, right? So you can line them up. There's like a little notch here, there. So you can line those two up, okay? And then move this one. I'm trying not to get my head in your way. You move this one over. And you kind of look at the design and see if it's where you want it to be. Okay, so if you want that to be there, you want that to be there. Um, and so you just kind of look, well, this was not quite where I want it. So I'm going to try to move it just a hair. It's not quite not exactly where I want it, but it's good. It's, but it's pretty good. Pretty darn good. Okay, so... Anyway, so you've got this, and it's you've got it on your design now, right? So then all you do is take this plate and come over, and you pick it up. Because you already have it aligned with the other. I have a bone folder somewhere. Here it is. I'm going to slide this bone folder out here because I want it to, I want to try to hold it so it doesn't come up. Okay. So it's there now, Okay. So I stamped that one. I'm gonna make sure it's back where it was at this little place. Because you know, these are little teeny things. And um, you know, I'm, I'm more of a perfectionist that I really that, that I really should be because I worry about it too much. Okay, so then here's this one. So I'm gonna stamp this again. The purple, okay, and then it just comes down and goes on. You rub it. It will, but once you set it up, it'll save you so much time. So pretty good. I could have messed with it a little bit more, fiddle with it, but it lies up pretty well. And you could stamp it again, and it get a little bit darker. Uh, that's what you could do with it, which is nice. But uh, that's how I did. That's how I did these pieces. Okay, because I stamped it like this. Okay, so and then for the purposes, I'm gonna put this down for now. Out of the way. <clears throat> but for the purposes of this particular project, 
Um, I cut these at, I cut these in two. Okay. Hi, Debbie. So I cut these in two. So just with the, uh, with the paper trimmer, you can cut it. But, uh, but you know, it's pretty straightforward. But that's how I did it, and I'll show you what it does. Okay, so that's that. So now we're going to put this one together, which is this card. Okay, so that's how I got, so I showed you how to do these. And then these are four of those. Okay, and I'll show you. So I'm doing a different card, different color, same card, same card style. So I cut this out. And remember, I told you that I put white behind it. Okay, so, so what I did, here's where the white goes. And you could, you know, like I said, you could use, but because when you look at this, it, it's a square, right? You see the square? There's a square there, square. Okay, so when you kind of look at it, you could tell that there's a square there. So all I wanted to do, the reason I did this is because I, when I put it, I'll show you why, why I was thinking this. So when I put it, when I put it on the card like this, I just felt like it didn't draw my eye in. So that's why I wanted to put something else here. So when I put the white there, it kind of drew my eye into the center and that's what I really wanted. And so that's why I, I ended up adding the white. Okay, then, um, but we're gonna go ahead first before we do that and we're gonna go put the stuff at the bottom. Okay, so where is it? Okay, so here's, I cut off this piece up here, right? And so when you look at, I measured all this stuff. Okay, so that's why it works. So here's, this goes down here like this, see? Isn't that cool? So even though I stamped it four, uh, eight, I just cut it in half so that I could just do um, four. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, how did I do this one? Did I do it all? Nope, I glued it on. Anyway, this tile set has so many different options you can use it for, and I just, I really like it. So that's why I caught it. I like things that, like I, I said Tuesday night, if, if you were watching, I really like sets that allow you to design, you know, put your own thing on them. And uh, that there's, there's your, you can use your own uh, design uh, ideas to make it, as opposed to, you know, uh, you just got a stamp and this is where it's going to go and there's not a whole lot more you can do with it. So that's kind of why I like these. I like the stamp sets that allow you to uh, design what you like. Okay. So that this one, I still have some washi tape on. Uh, there it is. Take, I have two of every tool on my desk for a reason because I could. I usually can't find one. So I have a second chance to get one. So waste time. Waste time on your... Waste your time doing this. So anyway. So you know... I, I use so much washi tape holding these things on here. Okay. God, I don't have very good else. Okay. So then um, I I do dimension. I use dimensionals for these. But see how that one is? That one's there. And this one goes here like that. But it's wrong. It's upside down. So those are, I just did those at two inches. Okay. So anyway, so that's that. Okay. So let me get my dimensionals out and I will do this. <clears throat> but yeah, I had so much fun uh, this summer uh, retreat today. It was a lot of, uh, it was a lot to take. And then we'll get all the, um, because you see all the videos, we're live, and then we get all the videos, and then we'll get all the, uh, we'll get all the uh, tutorials to, to download. Should be nice. Just what I need. Or things to bake. But it's nice to have options. There's that. I like the way the the um magenta and the jade go together really nicely. The peak. And the green. Okay, let's see. I should use my tweezers, but I just try to get the lined up. Well, fairies have been on my side today because I've gotten been pretty good about lining them up. Okay, so that's done. And it's all the right way. So then I'm going to do get some glue out. And I will 
put some glue here, 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 and here. Because this is going to be stuck down anyway. So I just need to stick this on so that it'll be on for, for the time being. I want to make sure that I get it lined up right because it would drive me crazy if I stop right. Okay, let's see how it looks for the front. See, this little, I play with it, push these things up. Push this one over a little bit. Perfecto. You should have. So you don't really want to see that. Okay, so that's there. Like that. Okay, so then I use some more white glue. And we will fix this one. This one, this one. So yeah, it's been really busy. And, uh, I just, I wasn't sure what day it was telling you this bit of being home all the time you know the other day when I did my Wednesday my wind down Wednesday I was I always watch my video back to see if I do anything really stupid and um I did say wind down Wednesday one time but then once I said thank you for joining me for my Saturday night live and uh so funny but I, I got it right one time so it's Saturday night live now stamp it with Tony so uh I don't know. So I kind of showed you a technique, and it's not a Tuesday. I showed you, uh, showed you how to use the stamp apparatus. I showed you how to do um, a die cut, and you know, adjust the length of your die cut. I really showing you two tips today. It's not even Tuesday. Goodness, getting such bang for your buck here. Let's see, There's that. I'm having a lot of fun. Cotty Stewart is one of my very, very, very favorite uh, demonstrators. And uh, she's a part of the, the group that I was taking the class from today. And uh, oh my gosh, they're all so, 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 so talented and talking about how many years they've been in business and all over, almost all over 20. And uh, yeah, it was uh, quite amazing. And most of them are younger than me, so. But you know, I had a career before. But I would have loved to have had this as a career. Hello, it's wonderful. Okay, so that I normally use a little soft. I think it's raining. I hear raid on the roof. Unless, I don't think it's the air conditioning, I think it's raid. We have a part of our roof is tin. And, uh, when it rains, it really sounds loud. You know, that almost gives, I don't know about you can see that, but that's almost an optical illusion. Do you, can you see how that square there with the white kind of goes down? It, it took, I don't know, maybe I've been doing this too long today, but it looks to me like this is lower than this part, which is really cool, because it shouldn't be. But anyway, there's that card. And uh, so that we just have this to do. I'm only doing two cards because they're a little more complicated, a little more, a few more steps. Uh, but if you don't have this, if you don't have this set, uh, that it's something to think about. I will pull out the catalog in a second and show you this set and I'll show you. So if you don't have the stamp apparatus, you know, right now through early August, if you, for every $50 you spend, you get a $5 gift, uh, certificate that you can use in August. So the stamp apparatus is about $49. So you could just, um, so I kind of, what I was going to do is try to line it up in here and kind of line this up in here, see how those, those things are. That's just me. But anyway, but anyway, so if you get the stamp apparatus, then, uh, it's a great, uh, it's a great investment because, you know, with your, if you're making, uh, like I said, if you're making multiples, uh, or if you're doing uh, some some dies that are bigger, not dies, stamps that are bigger, it's really nice because 
you can stamp it and keep stamping and stamping until you get the color you want. And the more you stamp it, you know, it gets a little bit darker. So, which is nice. Okay, let me get some bling. Because it has to have bling. Or it just isn't going to work. Let's see, what do I, I don't have pink. Do I have green? I have green, but it's the wrong color green. Okay, so I'm just going to use... These are my fallback. I love them anyway. I love them all. All the bling. Okay, so I'm going to put these. And I like to put them here. Just because. Makes it look a little more. Wouldn't you love to get... You know, uh, I think I told you guys, if you were here last time, I don't know who was here, but who wasn't. But, you know, we sent out a bunch of cards to my mom and Darren's mom and to uh, what a Darren's aunts. And uh, she lives in Illinois. And, you know, none of them, they're all older. And, uh, and Darren's other aunt is in, lives with Darren's mom and they live together in uh, Florida. So anyway, so we sent boxes of um, cards because they, you know, mom was like, I really want to buy some cards from you. And I'm like, you're my mother. You're not buying cards from me. Just tell me what you want and I'll send them to you. So anyway, uh, we sent him a lot of cards, big boxes of cards. And uh, so, there, my mom said, I've not, I don't, I'm not gonna send any of these. I love all these cards, so I'm just gonna put them up. I'm not going to, I'm not gonna send them to anybody. And uh, and so, Dara's aunt up in Illinois, and she's like, she can't get out because of the COVID stuff. And she said, I'm gonna just keep all these cards. I'm not gonna give them out. But it's so funny because, you know, the cards are really, really fun. Uh, they are really pretty, but sometimes I think we don't realize how unique some of these things are, uh, you know, for people that, have, you know, buy cards and, 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 I, and I don't know, I just think that they maybe not understand it, but anyway, they loved them. So, but I really like the, I really liked how these turned out. So I hope you did too. Okay. So I'll pull the catalog out and you could add ribbon if you wanted to, but I just didn't want to do, do too much of that. Okay. So here is uh, hey, Alex. Okay, so in the catalog, which is the big catalog, stamping up, the big catalog, this is the today's tiles. Okay, so it does have, um, it does have somewhere, you could buy the, buy the set for Ted, don't know where, it must be in the back. But anyway, you can get the tiles and the, uh, and everything together in a bundle. And um, so let me find the bundle back here. Die bundles, if they have it back here. Oh, there's so much of this catalog. It's just like, oh, okay. And you know, I look at it all the time, but I, it's, I can't find it. But anyway, there are tiles and if you order the set, you get 10% off for uh, buying the, them together. Okay, so, th so that's what you see. So what I showed you and then, um, and then the, the, the other set. But let me look up the Stamparatus and I will show you where that is. Stamparatus 164. It's so nice we have an index. Okay. So it's really, really nice to have. Uh, so there's a little bag for it if you're a bag kind of person and you uh, take it with you, because it's cool, you could take it, with, take, it, take it with you when you're going out, uh, going on a little trip or something. So it's $49 for the Stamparatus, which is, it comes with the two plates, it comes with this, uh, it comes with the two magnets, and then if you, uh, if you want the foam mat, there's a, a, it comes with a mat, but it has a, uh, it has a foam mat that you can buy for $3, which goes in there, which is good when you're using, uh, your uh, photopolymer. So the, or whichever ones they are. Or which, but anyway, the one, uh, I can't remember. The cling stamps and the photopolymer. It's just nice to have, uh, to have that pad for it. Okay, so I have this blue pad here, which you can get at craft stores for like a buck. And uh, so that helps when I do my stamping so I don't have to worry about that little um, other thing. So anyway, so then there's the foam mat and then there's a the little thing of grid paper, which like this is grid paper, but there's grid paper for that is, uh, you know, is the right size for it. So anyway, so if you're going to spend 50 bucks, this is a good, this is a good investment for 50 bucks. And uh, anyway, but if you don't have a catalog and you want a catalog, hit me up, let me know. I'll be happy to send you a catalog. And uh, the soon in August, early August, we have a new catalog 
uh, not a new, it's new, it's a, it's more of the, it's called the mini catalog, but it's not really mini, um, but it's uh, only out until like January, and uh, it has holiday stuff, Thanksgiving, uh, Halloween, Christmas, New Year's, um, it might have some Valentine's in it, I don't, I don't remember, uh, because there's so much in there, and it's not really many. It's smaller than the big catalog, but it's it still has a lot in it. So anyway, uh, but I'll be back on Tuesday at 7. All my uh, presentations are at 7 o'clock. Tuesday is, t is uh, techniques and tips. Wednesday is wind down Wednesday, and get your favorite beverage and um, come in and watch and uh, stamp along if you like. And then Saturday is Saturday Night Live, you can bring a beverage if you want. Um, and so I do, uh, you know, I try to show something different all the time. And um, so, and show out, showing different products that we're, you know, that we have. And I try to, uh, especially if you are thinking about buying a product or something, I, I want to show you lots of different ways to use it because that's what's important. And uh, so I'd be happy to uh, show you guys anything. And I know we're not supposed to be together, uh, you know, for, for too much, but I can, you know, have a couple people over to the house. If you want to learn to do some stamping and stuff like that, we can do that. We can social distance in my house. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I will see you next time. God bless. And have what's left of a, a great weekend. Hey, Kevin. I'm sure you're tired, too. We've been, uh, both been doing stamping stuff. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.